Today we're going to be addressing how to uh, fix a 98 Jaguar XJR. This will work for uh, 98 to 2003 Jaguar XJs. They're all about the same XJRs, uh, XJ8s. And um, what will happen is you're, you'll go to open your hood and your uh, driver's side or left hand uh, side hood will pop but your uh, passenger side or right hand side will not uh, the hood will not pop open and I've seen a lot of uh, videos online that say get your drill and take you what you want to do is take this fender liner out uh, there's a, a bunch of uh, push pins etc to take that out but a whole bunch of people tell you to get a uh, get a drill bit and about two and a half or three inches down from this grommet hole here you'll want to drill a hole through and then you can get and actuate your uh, hood hinge uh, manually um, well I found a way to do this to cause a little bit less damage to the car so what you want to do is get yourself uh, well take your whole fender liner out um, you can leave the front part attached there and just kind of wrap it around okay but you'll what you want to do is you want to get a get a punch or some kind of a kind of a graduated punch tool not too long you don't want to hit the hood and go into this hole I've already bent this one but um, kind of put the punch in there and put it put it in there tight and then bend this uh, grommet hole down uh, so that you can get and you can go back and forth and expand it a little bit you know as as little as possible to get the job done but basically you want to be in, able to get in here with a screwdriver uh, well not a screwdriver but we'll get to that in a second and you'll want basically a straight shot uh, back just a straight shot back uh, have your bend in your hole so that you can get a straight shot back like that okay so let me switch hands here so what this allows you to do is get in here and you kind of follow for me for some people this is a little bit this ho uh, hose or wiring loom or what actually this is the main power cable coming from the back battery um, so a big disadvantage to drilling a hole uh, you know further down here is uh, that you can hit your battery cable you know you can plus you have a big hole in the car okay so for this it's a lot easier to fix once you're done so what I found is I put a screwdriver in here and I played around with this for quite some time and um, I wasn't able to uh, actuate. I should have been able to, but for some reason I think what, what, what happens here is that the, the screwdriver, you can only push this up so far so you either have to put a bend in your screwdriver so that you can get it to angle more down inside the car or what I did is I got one of these uh, fiberglass uh, fishing rods for um, for electrical fishing in houses I think these are BES uh, fiberglass fishing rods anyway so I put it in here and put it so I've got it kind of over there and then in the hole here all right and then what this allowed me to do was to get push this all the way up higher higher than the screwdriver handle I would run into the screwdriver handle here but this allowed me to get more of an angle and then that allowed me to get down underneath this thing and 
hopefully this it takes a lot of trial and error oh got it already okay this takes a lot of a trial and error people um but you kind of you want to kind of stay really close or even pushing this cable over here over and kind of angled down just as a little bit and you'll oh my fishing rod's too far in there okay so get that angled down just a little bit no I had it just a second ago. <laughs> I'm getting caught up here. Okay, so there she is. And kind of angle it down. And... <sighs> I was able to do this earlier and have two hands underneath the car. But angle it down and is it missing it still? All right, so right, right there, see? I'm actuating it so see how this is I don't know if how you can see if this is it's just slightly angled down and then you can actuate your hood hinge so then once you're done you can take your fishing rod out of there and uh, get your punch and kind of or a little body hammer and get this back kind of flat to the way it was before and I think I'm gonna put a little um, oh um, a little uh, paint over this so that it to make sure that there's no corrosion in the future I'll clean this up with some denatured alcohol and uh, maybe put a little automotive paint on it and uh, make sure that my uh, fastener still fits in here and work on that but that's how you get uh, get open and uh, hopefully causing less damage than the uh, the drill bit method all right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.